Hey guys, welcome to Words of Scale. So the biggest news of today and yesterday is the arrival of Gemini Pro, which is the new model inside of BART. And I thought it would be a good idea to compare it to the other two powerhouses, which are the Jupiter 4 Turbo and Claude. Everybody on the internet keeps comparing uh, Gemini Pro to Jupiter 3.5. And I just think it's weird. I, and I do get it that BART is free. So is Jupiter 4 inside of Bing or inside of Po. So again, I will be comparing Gemini to Jupiter 4 and Claude 2. And unfortunately, this giant prompt that I used to compare Jupiter 4 and Claude is not working with BART. <laughs> I will be using a stripped down version without the internal links unfortunately. And round one, uh, Claude wins uh, by far because Gemini Pro is apparently only 32k tokens. So in terms of the context window, Claude 2 or Claude 2.1 rather is still winning by quite a lot. Okay, and another thing that I wanted to mention that even though Gemini Pro is available inside of BART, not every country has that. So if you are in Europe, for example, or in the UK, you won't have it. I'm using a VPN that shows that I'm in Australia, and that means that I get to play around with Gemini Pro. So just use the VPN, guys. The project is extremely simple. Use Markdown formatted. Uh, bolded words list on tables to write a 2000 word article on Bitcoin price prediction 2025. And we'll be doing the majority of uh, our comparison based on this prompt. So we'll be doing the same with GPT-4 and the same with Clot. And the criteria for comparison is going to be uh, word count, readability, plagiarism, AI detection. And these two are going to be separate experiments. And I do get it that to compare LMC you need several iterations for both, but I don't really have time for that today. So uh, we'll be running three very small single variable experiments. So BART is finished. It's not finished, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's uh, finished writing at least. Let's go to Grammarly. And Grammarly says uh, this is 742 words. Let me double check that BART is um, finished. Yeah, so 700, 742 words. Readability is 25, huh. so very low readability. But again, that uh, depends on the, that actually depends on the topic. Let me actually check uh, Hemingway. So grade 15, but once again, this is a very sophisticated topic. Okay, plagiarism, let's go back to Grammarly. And I wouldn't expect a lot of plagiarism with this new model, but let's just wait. 7% plagiarism. Oh, wow, I did not expect that, to be quite honest. 7% for a new model. Huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, detection. I, I was actually hoping that this new model is gonna smash AI detection. But I was not rewarded, <laughs> so to speak. So let's double check. So even though this is a brand new model, it still scores 0% original with originality, which is kind of a shame. Now, so I can close the window with bars already. Let's check how factual this is. Who won the 2023 Wimbledon. Okay, and this is correct. So this is uh, the correct factual information. So we can say that Gemini Pro is indeed factual. And for the SEO score, let's just copy the seed keywords. Give me a list of 100 highly relevant OSI keywords for okay so i'm not sure this is what i wanted but uh, nevertheless i'll just paste it in like so and i'll get rid of uh, the subheadings okay and the seo score is 11. oh my god so let's score this 11 and i did not expect that honestly okay this is it for bart let's now check GPT-4, starting with Grammarly. Oh, this is in markdown formatting. I always forget. So, okay, this is 588 words. Not a lot. The readability is, however, grade 11. Okay. 
how about plagiarism? Plagiarism is five. I'm pretty sure I know what the AI detection score is going to be, but still. And the AI detection is zero. So no surprises here. Let's check how factual GPT-4 is. Who won the 2023 men's Wimbledon? And since it's using Bing, it's likely to guess the correct information or fetch the correct information, okay? So this is one for GPT-4. And now let's use exactly the same prompt as before. Give me 100 highly relevant OSI keywords for... So, okay, I, I didn't get the network error this time around, which is good. Let's paste this into new router. So the previous score was 11. And what's the score right now? 14. And I don't have neither title nor meta description. Propoculated 12. Okay, this is 12. And we are done with GPT-4, so what we have left is Claude. Okay, Claude is 765 words, so the longest output right now. What about readability? Readability is uh, grade 11 once again, okay, which is good for such a topic, grade 11. How about plagiarism? Plagiarism is zero, wow, okay. Now a detection, 99%, okay. <laughs> And um, I think this is because the text is very technical with lots of tables and lists, which helps with the AI detection. Okay, so what we have to do is to check the OSI. Okay, so this was a half-assed effort, I think, but let's try. Previous best is 12, and what about now? Six, hmm, interesting. So six it is. And so the only thing left to check, and we all know what the result is gonna be, is the, how factual Claude is. So who won the men's title in Wimbledon in 2023? And yeah, this is incorrect. But uh, if you use Perplexity Pro, you can have uh, factual information uh, with Claude as well. So even though Claude on its own scores zero, we all know that you can fix that pretty easily. Okay, so it's time to summarize. As far as the context window, the clear winner is Claude 2.1. Uh, as far as factual, both GPT-4 and Gemini Pro and actually Claude 2.1 are capable of fetching factual information for the word counts. I would say GPT-4 is a loser, but Claude 2.1 and Gemini are very close to each other, so I won't be picking a winner here. As far as readability, um, Gemini Pro surprised me. I'm pretty sure people in the comment section are going to tell me that you can, you could, I could have prompted a bar to aim at readability level of grade 8 or something, but I'm just testing the raw outputs. So for plagiarism, uh, the clear winner is Claude, so both GPT-4 and Gemini produced um, content that is uh, plagiarized to an extent at least. For the SEO score, I would say both GPT-4 and Gemini are very close, and Claude so just didn't do what I expected it to do, and for A detection, is so is the case, Claude wins, hands down. So this is interesting, uh, just by looking at the picture, I would say that Gemini Pro is no better than GPT-4 in no regard. So it, it is as factual. Uh, it produces uh, maybe uh, some longer words, word count, but uh, worse readability. It's the same as far as SEO score in AI detection, but Claude can be factual uh, with Perplexity Pro. It produced the longest output, good readability, zero plagiarism, good AI detection. And for the SEO score, it's not really the SEO machine, but uh, when used correctly with NeuroWriter or other uh, LSI extraction method, it is capable of producing highly SEO optimized content. So I would say that Claude 2.1 is a winner here, but again, it's just one generation per model, so it's not statistically significant, but it is what it is. I still hope this was helpful. So I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time.